Yeah, 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 what's going on? No, I'm just, uh, I'm just hanging around about to film a spider curl variation video for YouTube. Yeah, yeah, I'm just hanging, like literally hanging. <laughs> yeah, all right, see you later, man, peace. What's up guys, last day of November, looking nice and burly. But as Kyle said, we're gonna show you guys a sweet variation of spider curls. It's really gonna help you engage your lower back and your core. Video today is brought to you by Lift Nation Fitness. These uh, tees are super fitted. Be sure to check them out. We got a code down below, Colossus 10. Let's dive into it. All right, so as you can see, the spider curl is an awesome exercise to isolate the biceps. There's gonna be no swinging taking place like you see when a lot of people are doing regular bicep curls standing. And then the variation that we came up with is an awesome alternative, especially for those guys who are doing a pull day or a back and biceps day where you wanna hit the biceps in the back at the same time or where you wanna work your lower back and engage your glutes and core. All right, to set up for this exercise, you're gonna to wanna to grab a barbell, a couple dumbbells, and a lower back hyperextension machine. I'm gonna put it all the way back. You wanna get into place, you wanna make sure your feet are nice and secure. And when it comes to doing the rep, you can either fully extend, but to keep it nice and intense, you can keep it just before lockout and then continue. So as you guys can see, Josh is doing nice and controlled reps. The awesome thing about this exercise is it keeps you in place. Uh, it doesn't allow for any swinging and we're using a modest weight. We're not using 50 pounds. We're doing something that is going to give us a nice pump and we're going to really kill our biceps. All right guys, so we're out here trying to help you get a little more functional and uh, this is a great alternative like Kyle was mentioning to your spider curl. It's really great because you're going to be utilizing muscles that you never would when you're performing bicep-like exercises. Examples of these are hamstrings, uh, your lower back and your abs are all going to get highly engaged. If you guys can see there's a variation I'm doing here where I'm kind of propping myself up. The higher you are, the more you're going to be forced to hold yourself with your core strength being your lower back and your abs. And it's just a great thing. You can come down lower, I said, like I'm demonstrating here. My back is so nice and straight, as you can see, it's being held into place and it is not in an exposed place where I'm gonna expose myself to injury. This opens up a lot of opportunity for variations. An example of these, you can see Kyle ripping some hammer curls. It's great because now we can kind of come in a little bit and not worry about hitting the bench press like a normal spider curl. Another great one is the Zotman curl, as you can see. You can see this was a big favorite for some of y'all, so it's a great thing to try. And then you can see myself with the barbell. I'm kind of doing a reverse curl, the barbell. I'm doing a reverse curl here and it's really gonna open up a lot of different pathways for you to hit your biceps, really bring it home. And it's just a great variation because you're bringing your whole body into this exercise. Thank you so much for checking us out, guys. Josh and Kyle from Colossus. Make sure to subscribe, comment, and share this around. Let's get more functional together. Peace.